much. Yeah. Well, look, Megan, um, it's often very difficult to be the only person on the stage who's telling the truth and the only person who is taking on what needs to be taken on. I, I look at my watch now. We're 17 minutes into this debate, and except for your little speech in the beginning, we've had these three acting as if the race is between the four of us. The fifth guy, who doesn't have the guts to show up and stand here, he's the one who, as you just put it, is way ahead in the polls. And yet, I've got these three guys who are all seemingly to compete um, with, you know, Voldemort, he or shall not be named. They don't want to talk about it. The, the fact is that when you go and you say the truth about somebody who is a dictator, a bully, who has taken shots at everybody, whether they've given him great service or not over time, who dares to disagree with him, then I understand why the these three are timid to say anything about it. Maybe it's because they have future aspirations, Maybe those future aspirations are now, or maybe they're four years from now. But the fact of the matter is, the truth needs to be told. And for us to go 17 minutes without discussing the guy who has all those gaudy numbers you talked about is ridiculous. I'm in this race because the truth needs to be spoken. He is unfit. This is a guy who just said this past week that he wants to use the Department of Justice to go after his enemies when he gets in there. I mean, the fact of the matter is, he is unfit to be president, and there is no bigger issue in this race, Megan, than Donald Trump, and those numbers prove it. 